So in this session, I'm going to demonstrate how to customize the resources for week one and how to add additional content to this section. Because after you uploaded your syllabus to your course page, you then want to start outlining week one and post all the resources for week one. Because as I mentioned in the very beginning, everything is kind of sequential. You have all the stuff for week one and week one and then all the stuff for week two and week two and so on. So in this case, we make sure that editing has been turned on in the course page and then we scroll down. So we want to change this from topic one to week one. We click on this edit summary icon here. And then we want to go and change the section name. Notice right now we can't type anything in there. So we uncheck use default section name and we call this week one. So let's say uh, that, and uh, let's say uh, the topic, you could even list the topic that you're going to cover. And then uh, down in the summary here, you potentially want to either have something like a summary of what you're going to cover that week, or you could list in there the learning objectives for that week and things of that nature. And so on and so on. So remember, you can also customize this so that it will be bold and so on. Now, if you do not have the three rows of icons here, the trick to enabling that is by clicking on this uh, first icon here, and that will give you the additional icons. Now click on Save Changes. And the content for topic one has been updated here. So notice it says week one, September 1 through 6, and the learning objectives and all that stuff. Now, uh, let's suppose that we want to add the first lecture. So to add the first lecture, you can either reference the video, the previous video on how to add the syllabus. And uh, you can do that the long way by clicking on add an activity or resource and then browse for the file and attach it. Again, review the previous video. Or you can drag and drop it. So meaning you go to your files. So in this case, I have sample course here. And let's say my PowerPoint is this one. I have this lecture one, let's say. So I go over here and I simply drag it. So as long as my box here is on top of the e-learning page, or if you have two monitors, just have one window on one side and just drag it across the monitors to the course page. So the trick again is drag it and just let it go. This, it'll be uploaded to the system and it's ready for the students to view it at this point. If you do not like the title of this lecture, you can change it also from here. Notice this little pencil, edit title, and you could say a lecture one. And then simply hit enter. If you click somewhere else, it's not going to change the name for it. So notice there is lecture one. Now let's say we wanted to add additional files in here. So again, the process is the same. You simply go and drag it over here. You can also drag multiple files at the same time. So let's say I want this first one, this one, and that one. So in this case, I'm holding the control key to select them separately, but however you select your stuff. Now, since they are all selected, simply drag them over here and it's going to upload them all at the same time. Now notice when I upload an image, it's going to expand that image to be larger. So in this case, you may want it, you may not want it there, but if I don't want it there, I can simply click on edit here and then choose delete. So now notice we have here a bunch of resources. I would call those resources for the students. They'll simply be able to click on them, open them up, and download them and all that type of stuff. So it's better than nothing. It's not enhanced yet, but better than nothing. So that's basically uploading resources here. And this was just documents and so on.